Hi and welcome to my first video in this series about populations and today we're going to be looking at key terms. So the first term you expect to know is what a population is. And so a population is a very, very specific term um, and it essentially means the number of a single organism um, living in a given area at a given time. Um, so for instance, the population of your school, um, well, may be a thousand, um, but the population of London may be 10 million, the population of Britain, 60 million and the population of the world um, 7 billion so you need to give a, a given area and specifically within a given time as well now a biotic factor refers to something like biology because biology being the study of life meaning something living and so a biotic factor is something that can affect an ecosystem that's living something like predation for instance and so the converse of this is abiotic, something which is not living that may, inve uh, may affect an environment. So something like weather. Another key term is habitat. And habitat means the specific place in which an organism lives. So effectively, um, it can mean its entire, you know, in its entire surrounding. So for instance, um, certain groups of primates may live in the jungle and this could be referred to as their habitat. A community means all of the organisms or all of the populations that live in a particular area at a particular time. So a community refers to all of the living things in a given area. Um, so for instance a community of living organisms within a rainforest. Now a niche um, refers to an organism's specific role within that ecosystem and so that's the things that it does so that can be the things that it feeds on that can be the areas in which it lives that can be the processes that it carries out um, but it's specific role to, of that organism within an ecosystem now an ecosystem is the interaction um, between biotic and abiotic factors and so it's all of those things combined like predation to weather um, to feeding processes things of that nature Now niches um, are very, very specific and so if we use the example of lice, um, we, we know that different species of lice live on different areas of the human body. So for instance, we have a lice that lives, um, essentially one that lives on the hair and that's a completely different species to the one that lives um, within this region and they're completely different types of lice and hence they occupy slightly different niches. Now the reason I picked lice um, is because you would assume they're all very very similar but they occupy very very specific niches and so the environment on the head is different to the environment um, where a pubic lice would live. Now if you were to have two organisms occupying the same niche then we would refer to them as being in competition and specifically if they were with the same species we would refer to that as intraspecific competition. Um, so for instance two lice living on the same area they'd be an intraspecific competition for the resources there. Now if you had two different um, organisms or competition between two different types of organisms like these two here then we would refer to that as interspecific. An interspecific competition means between different species, like an international football match. So in summary, what we've gone through is some of the um, key terms listed earlier, things like population, niche and habitat. And then we've looked briefly at competition, and competition is... Um, between species or can be between different species. In the case of the same species, that's called intraspecific. With different species, that's called interspecific. And through competition, they're competing free resources, and that can be space, that could be light, that could be nutrients.